Coming up on this week's show, we're talking about how young is too young to start riding bikes. We've got all the usual news and we've got the craziest, sketchiest send of the week in DSS history. It's the Dutch Ed Show! <laughs> Shed show with chain reaction cycles, of course, and this week it's special. It's a banger because we've got <laughs> Bing Bong Samson. And we got you, Mr. <laughs> yeah, well, that won't help, but anyway. Oh, yeah. um, good up. to see you in the shed. Oh, thank You've you. You've not been here for a while. I haven't been here for a while. I've been no. out. I've been out. Doing some good vids. Mm. Doing some very good vids. I like that trials vid you did with Neil. Did you, though? Mm, I was a little bit disappointed in your trials talents. Yeah, well. We, I, no. need, I, need a, I need more coaching from you, Mark. We're going to get to that. We're coming We're gonna to that. We're going to get to that. <laughs> right, now, we've got a great topic this week um, because I was watching the World Cup racing uh, cross-country, which has been very exciting. Um, and I noticed in the first round, mostly, yeah. um, in Albstadt, Kate Courtney obviously came into the season, took the win, yeah. right? Now, she won the World Championships at the end of last year. Right. Um, a bit of a surprise. Um, as we said last week, but then suddenly she's coming to this year and she's like a, a superpower in cross country. But she <laughs> only it? come out of under 23 cross country a year ago. Last year was her first year elite. That's now she's like big time. She's like a powerhouse in the whole it situation. It seems to me, Blake, that riders, pro riders, are getting better younger. They are, especially in slope style. Well, I think across all disciplines, yeah, I yeah. really do. You've got like, look at Finn Isles yeah, oh, in yeah, downhill. Yeah, I mean, like you say, slope style is absolutely it's, it's mental. splattered with yeah. young riders. Youngsters. But now in cross country too, in something that you used to have to really get the miles in your legs mm. before you could be good at it. So I thought there was a bit of a theory to this. Yeah. Right, because I went round and I asked a few people, okay? I went out to the streets, uh, asked people in the in the, in the the shed and in the GCN set, okay? When did they start riding? When were they first feet up riding, you know? Oh, yeah. Losing the stabilizers, mm. okay? And and I got to an average, right? It's about four and a half. Yeah, it sounds about right. I was at yeah. five. Yeah, I was about that. I was yeah. about the same sort of time. Four and a half years old, right? Now, here's the scientific thing. Right. Okay, right? I, I've been looking into how young those people who I asked how young their children are when <sighs> they're riding. So people like Cy Richardson, Neil Donahue, right? And we're going to get to you in a moment, right? Neil Donahue's son, Lucas, he's riding uh, feet up on his balance bike round pump tracks. He's three years old, right? <sighs> three, that's, it's, so, look at this video of Cy Richardson's daughter. Right, look at but, that, right? She's pedaling. She's, pedaling. She's two and a half. Two, two and a half pedaling. Future World Cup champion right there. But In road cycling. Now I've worked out, and I've used all the science I could get my hands mm. on to do this, right? <laughs> the average of the new generation of balanced bike kids, right? Yeah. They're basically about a year and a half ahead of all of us grown-ups. They're riding a year and a half sooner. Is that because of the balance bike? Well, the balance bike's got to be a big part of it. Now, is that the extinction of the stabilizers group? That's where uh, we started. Yeah, I mean, Ex you, you on used the stabilizers. To, well, I think we have to explain it. You used to have stabilizers on the start side of Two the bike. Two sets of wheels. But now you look at, I mean, look at the Black Mountain balance bikes. Look at these. I know. Things. These look are incredible. That. They, they just... basically can be a balance bike, but then you can add the pedals. Yeah. You can adjust the shape of them. And I mean, it's got these... they've got brakes. Oh, unbelievable, right? So, so kids are riding much sooner. So that 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 to me. Uh, puts a question there is like how good a kid's gonna be well wow. in five years time you know what is the level gonna be yeah but I think we're already seeing it I think we are take Jackson Goldston for instance he right? is a balanced bike he's balanced bike there. generation yeah. that's how he started everyone that's... used to notice him in Whistler jumping off steps on his little balance yeah. bike when he was like literally this big oh. as big as the chain reaction bell like th it is the height of it yeah Unbelievable. And and basically, he's now, at 16 years old, at the veteran age of 16, has basically been a pro down hiller for about five years. It, that's I, I wasn't even a pro at that age. Incredible. So, right, I guess um, I'm stating the obvious. They're starting younger, they're getting better sooner, mm -hmm. right? But what I thought we could do is play a bit of a game here, Blake, Ooh. right? Um, Blake, this was Blake's idea, he put a folder in our uploader that you can go to, right? And we want to see video evidence, video footage, 
of your kids riding feet up can be on a pal balance bike yeah. um, or pedaling. Pedaling. Um, but the, the the trick is riding a bike, rolling along with their feet up. Okay, uh, and we want to see if we can find the youngest. Ooh. Who's the youngest kid we can find for Looking next week's show? Yeah. yeah, that is going to be super cool. And we see, I I I, I really can't believe how young, but I'm, I reckon it's going to be getting close to two years old. Does that mean in four months my little man can be on a balance bike? Well, well, Charlie is now eight months old. Yeah. Yeah, in, in yeah. not much more than five months, he could be riding Probably around ten on months. bicycle with ten his, months. using his feet. It's incredible. Ten months. Incredible. <laughs> um, yeah, absolutely amazing. So get involved. Go over to the uploader. Let's see your young riders. Um, you can find our file. It's called Young Riders. Um, and we'll see who's the, the youngest. Excited. Let's play. Okay, so straight into news. Now, for the first time, I'm going over to the second installation of the Sea Otter event this year. So the first one was over at Monterey in the USA in April and now it's over in Spain in Girona. Now we're really excited about this here at GMBM because it can be so many European brands that we don't normally get to see. Now myself and Steve Jones from EMBN, we're going to be over there making videos for EMBN, for GMBN and GMBN Tech. So make sure you keep an eye on our YouTube accounts all over the weekend because there's going to be loads of cool tech coming up. Okay, and next up in the news, of course, is the fact we've just had the second round of the UCR World Cup. In this particular case, it was the XCO over at Novo Mesto in the Czech Republic. Now, the big news is in the women's race, Kate Courtney yet again took the pole. So she is leading the World Cup at the moment with what was nearly a flawless performance. She actually got a puncture quite early on in the race, but managed somehow to claw it back and actually managed to fight her way up front. Yolanda Neff actually went off the front pretty hard, but actually didn't manage to do that well in the end. And she was back in eighth place having a battle with Anne Tauber. Now the bigger news is the fact that number two and number three on the podium are both a little more unexpected. So Rebecca McConnell from Australia was absolutely flying on the Mondraker and she was pretty much leading the race at some point, in fact, from Kate Courtney, taking the second place in the end. And then there was Hayley Smith from Canada back in third. Now that's a really quite a different podium that we're used to seeing. And I think we're at a point where we're gonna start seeing some interesting changes over the year, but no doubt Kate Courtney is here to stay. And in the men's race, it was something different that we were used to seeing. Now we were expecting to see Nino Scher to go hard off the line to make up for last race earlier in the year at Albstadt, but it didn't quite go according to plan. He went hard off the start as he always does and he took Matthew Vanderpool with him, but the two of them battled for the whole race and it took until the last lap where you'd normally expect Nino to really, really put the gap down and Vanderpool took control and put an astonishing lead on Nino and he just could not go with him. Now Vanderpool is cleaning up in road, cyclocross and now he's showing his true power in mountain biking. Absolutely fantastic race. Now back in third place was last time's winner, of course, is Matthias Flakaga. Um, phenomenal race for him, but being in that chasing pack, he couldn't quite close the gap. However, another solid performance by him. Next up in the news is Chris Ackrig, the British technical rider that somehow makes together trials with an element of slope style and free ride, is back with another video, and this is it you can see on your screen. Akrig, in my opinion, is actually one of the best riders on earth, probably the most technical mountain biker that exists, and he's definitely a rider for the riders out there. However, this particular video, you're seeing Akrig doing his typical stuff, making the unridable flow. Uh, what do you say? It looks amazing. It's a really good soundtrack in here. It certainly seems that his production crew have stepped this one up because the sound and the mixing on it is fantastic. Make sure you check this one out. Next up in news is something a little bit more on the safety aspect. So mixed MIPS, the anti-rotational uh, multi-impact protection system that goes inside helmets, has now acquired Fluid. Now Fluid is another system that has a slightly different way of working, ultimately designed to protect your head. Now check this out as you can see on screen now. So it's a 3.3 million deal. Now like MIPS, it's a technology used to minimize the rotational impact or basically take that energy that can really damage your head and slow it right down. So this is all good. And you can currently see the fluid inside on the Fox Rampage Pro helmet. And you're gonna start seeing these mergers happening on a lot more brands. At the end of the day, it's just better safety. And that's gotta be a good thing. Now, last up in news is a little bit more exciting. This is all about the 50 to one crew and the Revolution Bike Park in North Wales. 
Now they already have the 50 to one jump line there, which no doubt is phenomenal. And look at some of the images you can see from that. But have a look at this. This is what they've been leaking on the Instagram over the weekend. They're building a whole bowl set up for a jam that's happening later this year. No one knows, guys, it's going to be insane. Keep your eye on their Instagram account. And the same with Revolution Bike Park. Yeah, it's been a big week. Enjoyed that. Very, news. very, very like intense. We always do that last minute, so we're right on point. Mm -hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. um, right, let's do a bit of a quiz, shall we? Oh, yes. Yes. Um, and let's keep it age related. How young's too old? And I want to demonstrate, uh, you know, that point I was making that riders are getting better yeah. younger. Yes. Right, okay. So let's take like a man of the moment, Danny McCaskill. Oh my gosh. His amazing edit that yeah. came out last week with Young Daisy on there. Aww. She was riding at yeah. the end of that. Um, yeah, da Danny Daycare. Very funny video. I liked it. Um, right now, Danny's famous for his big video edits. Okay. Um, in 2009 it was when he released his first edit, right? Wow. When okay. everyone went, oh my God, who is that kid? Yeah. Right. Um, a absolutely stop the trials world in its on in its just put another yeah. genre into trials stopped it in its tracks yeah. um so how how old was danny mccaskill when he dropped that edit in 2009 wait before you answer <laughs> let's have a look at some fails and bails <laughs> Or not. scary right is we get new crashes every week it's kind of sad it, well i've just done a but, video on how to crash well, that's helpful yeah that's there's helpful. an art to it you know there is there that is. is true you can crash well it's you a good can. point it's a good point. yeah now before Might we watched you. fails and bales i asked you how old was danny mac yes when he released his first big banger edit it was in 2009 it was called danny mccaskill inspired bicycles it was incredible and it yeah. changed the world of trials uh how old do you think he was Blake? 20. No. Oh. Not 20. Go on, you guess. <laughs> no. He probably got it right. No, oh, she did. She did, just there. She did. Um, Danny McCaskill was 24 when he released that edit. Wow, so that makes yeah. him 34 now. 34. I think he's 33. He's coming up to 34. So, I mean, that's amazing, right? Because that's actually quite old. No, now, that's old. To prove my point, it's we were talking about earlier on. <laughs> Old. Yeah, yeah, you're old. <laughs> um, to prove my point that I was talking about earlier on, about like, riders are getting better, younger, yeah. right? So Danny McCaskill's career started there. Yeah. Bang, 24 cool. years old, one of the most famous riders in the world. One of the other most famous riders in the world at the moment is Fabio Widmer. He's 23. He's not even the same age yet as Danny was when he started his career, and that was only 10 years ago. <laughs> He's a decade away uh, above yeah, yeah. Magasco. I bet Fabio had a balance bike. I bet he did. Yeah. Dud. I bet he did. Dud. 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 Let's do some hacks and bodges. Hacks and bodges! 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 Hacks you smash that thing hard, you did. Hacks and bodges with chain reactions, cycles, and a small dent. Um, we have got £100 on offer. Okay, that's what we're offering yo. Yeah. Okay, if you've got the best hack or bodge, Chain Reaction Cycles will give you £100 uh, to spend in their website. Uh, last week, our winner um, made made the purchases for these things for his new bike. No way! Uh, yeah, he's building a 20 inch downhill bike. Um, oh. Yeah, his name's escaped me, I'm sorry. His 20 inch downhill bike. Now, yeah. there you go, youngster riding 
downhill. Yeah, there you go. We've got, we've got it rolling now. Right, so we've got some great hacks and bodges. Mm -hmm. um, Blake, you're going to be choosing who wins well, I the £100 today with the help of little Troy Brosnan. Little Troy, are you ready? Because I think we've found one. His name's William. He has a specialised stump jumper. It's a mm -hmm. 29er. Mm -hmm. Now, he's got a small car, but take a look at this. Look at that. Oh, nice. Oh, my God. GMN. It's etched in, yeah. yeah. So, oh. what he's done, that's a wheel, well, that's a frame protector, and then a wheel goes on top, then he oh, sticks another that. spacer. Brilliant. Then another wheel goes Keeps on top. Keeps all the so wheels in one space, exactly. like rattling around. Yes, and it stops from scratching his bike. And he has a three door car, so yes. it's. GMBN load like is very, very nice. I like that. That is very, very nice. That is kind of pro. That right, is worthy pro. of a hundred pounds. I think so. But you know what? Sometimes it's the simple bodge that helps. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a great hack. Yeah. But what about this bodge from Sam? Well, he's um, who's basically gone and bust his arm. Ah, oh, oh, right up the top. Right up the top. Right, but out on the trail, ah. he's stuck there with his arm absolutely toast. Ah. So he uses an inner tube as a sling to get himself back down the trail. Clever. And he said the paramedics were like, you are a genius. Because they apparently have made a big difference. That was really helpful to the injury because a big break up here. So yeah, using the inner tube as a sling. I've got a next one, man. Go on. Do you want to see this one? Yes. Take yes. a look at this. What on earth is that? We've got some art. And this oh, art's yeah. from Diego. Look at that BMX bars, okay? Yeah, it's BMX. But it's got some stunt. Stump it's pegs BMX on there. inspired, but it's bikes. It's bikes. It's fine. It's mm -hmm. fine. So, so what is it? it it's like a. It's, uh, it's a coat hanger, but he's actually oh. hanging his, his helmets. I get it. Bags, and that is mountain goggles. bike gear. And that's mountain so bike gear. He's forgiven. Yeah. He's retired the BMX. <laughs> yeah, the BMX has just become the coat hanger for his mountain bike stuff. So I like that. I like that. Cool. I like that. Um, I like that. That's kind of neat. Actually. That's pretty good. Diego. Right. So we've got we've got Diego. Mm -hmm. um, we got William. Got, we've got William, and we've got Sam. Yeah. Um, oh, I don't know who to pick. Let me just. I think Sam's one for me is really important. People could use that out on the trail. It could do. So you've got to pick, and little Troy Brosnan is going to help you, Blake. Is so he? you've got to pick. You've got to give away a hundred pounds. Now it's up to you. It's Sam. It's Diego. Or William. Who are you going with? There is the bell of win. Well, you, do you know what? Sam could have crashed and hurt his bike, let yes. alone himself. Yes. But he hurt his bike. Now he could do with that money. He could. He could. He, or you can go and buy bike wheel bags. Or yeah. you can go and buy. I think it's Sam. Sam, you are a winner. Well done, Sam. One hundred pounds. <laughs> I love giving away that money. I know, it's so just like, much fun. Yeah, it's very, very good. Yeah, uh, Sam, you're a winner. Thanks for sending in those hacks and bodges. If you want to play and try and win that money, now the GMBN low, low uploader is on the screen just there, and it's in the link uh, link in the description down below. Um, just go over to that uploader. You can upload your hack or your bodge, your viewer edit, your bike vault, you fail. your fail, your send of the week, and you can. And also upload your young riders now so head over there um, and get involved with the show oh, right we've just had a look at them but it's time for send of the week um oh, there's, sweaty palms there's, there's, a one, there's a good one coming right we're going to start this first one blake i like this one a lot it's from matt yeah um you know this jump i know this jump's in peas lake yeah well or surry he, hills here he comes here he comes um it looks like jump. That. He's coming in fast. Yes. Rob. <gasps> right. No, that's a send. That's great. That is it? a send. That is a great bit of riding. Yeah. Nice one, Matt. Sending it. Like that a lot. Next one. Next one. We're building up to it. Ooh. Next one is from Sandro on his Trek Remedy. Yeah. I like a stair gap. I love right. stair gaps. I like this yeah. one. So he's sending a stair gap. They're scary. It's hard to judge the speed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Let's see what you think. Send it. It's quite oh, a big gonna, set. He's going to double that one, is he? It's quite a big set. Is he going to send that one? I should press play. Here we go. Right. Oh, yes. Set. <gasps> oh. oh. He could have oh, gone for that second set. He had the speed to do that one. Look They're like that, double Sandra. send that. <gasps> now, Sandro, come on, man. You can I want to see that set. again. You can definitely do that second set. You sent it in and Land. then you braked. It was good. Don't get me wrong. But there was the speed there for that next set. Yeah. Got to do it. Double set. That would look so cool. Right. Right. Just think you'd be like Fabio oh. Widmer. Doing Brilliant. them big stair Brilliant. gaps. But great, great job. Nice send. Next one. I don't know what to think about this. What? I don't want to see it again. Oh, man. This I one makes wanna... me nervous. Okay, so this is... I don't want to see it again. Sent in by Matt, who was... Um, who was uh, his, his daughter was thinking about doing a ride in the bowl. He, he, he egged her on and got her to do it. This is a proper send. It is a proper but send. But it's touch and go. This is a proper send. It's touch and go. Ready? I don't Here like... We go. Here we go. In she comes. 
Whoa! Oh my god! Oh, oh it makes me nearly sick. loop out of smack face and oh, floor. It nearly makes me sick. D this could go wrong so many ways. Thank the Lord, it went perfectly. So fair play. That's a send, man. Proper send. <laughs> but there's a limit, just, you know. That's I'm the thing with, with send of the week. There's a limit, yeah. right? You're always on it because you're sending it. You're not sure if it's going to go well or not. That was Valve bouncing right the limit. The, the dial's been twisted. Maybe a notch too far there. Yeah. Just saying. But fair yeah. play. Fair play. I think there's a, a future. <laughs> Free riding, free ride. park <laughs> genius, right there. Yeah. But yeah, oh, oh, yeah, I'd remove the um, don't even the handlebar basket. Don't even watch time. it. Don't watch it again. <laughs> let's have another look. No, let's go again. No, full sound. I don't want to watch it again. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Man, that is so that scary. It's on the limit. <laughs> Right, time to take a look at what you guys have been saying on the channel this week in the comment section below our videos. Um, on last week's Dirt Shed show, mm -hmm. um, I remember I mentioned the Women Shred event in Bentonville in yeah. West Arkansas. Um, you know what that place called the Oz Trails? Apparently, it's amazing. Right, amazing trails. Sounds amazing. I, really I wanna, thought it was in Australia really wanna, when you said that. I really want to go there. Yeah. Yeah. So um, mm. JDR sent sent this in. Uh, thanks for the shout out for the Women Shred in Bentonville, uh, Arkansas. Can't wait until GMBN descends on the Oz Trails in Northwest Arkansas one day, hopefully. That's sort of like an invite. That's like, please come and ride our trails. Yeah, that's yeah. an invite. We got to go there. I want to go ride in Arkansas. Where were you? I was in Arkansas. Arkansas. Yeah, I don't know what, what were you doing there? Riding Oz trails, man. <laughs> yeah. Isn't yeah. that in Australia? No, like it's in Arkansas. Like that a lot. Um, also, under the podcast with Ollie Beckinsale, Ooh, um, when he was yeah. talking about the Albstadt World Cup, uh, Mark Ryan said, really loving the podcast. Great work, Neil and GMB and crew. It's nice to get more of an insight into the specific aspects of mountain biking, um, of the mountain biking world each week. Keep up the great work. Mm -hmm. And that's a great point, right? Because the podcast, if you really want to get into the details, Mm -hmm. Especially about uh, a race that's just happened, or you want to hear about a subject in more details, like we had with Henry yep. talking about being a pro mechanic. The podcast is where you really get into it. Neil absolutely mm -hmm. loves doing that. He loves smashing it. it. So very passionate about yeah, it. Yeah, definitely catch up with a podcast if you can. Right, should we take a look at what's coming up on the channel this oh, week? Yes. Definitely got some good stuff coming up as usual. Um, one I'm really looking forward to is the Flow Challenge. Oh, no, that's an interesting one. Yeah, because we did a show about getting flow yeah. in the Dirt Shed show recently. Yeah. yeah, and improving your flow makes a big difference, mm -hmm. and you've got a clever device to do it. It's we very have. Cool. And it worked! It, it did. Yeah. It wow, did. It cool. did work. Wow. Neil's still flowier than me. That's Garmin genius. -ness. It is. It's very clever. Measures your flow. Um, also, we've got how to plan a ride with Kamut. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's interesting. If yeah. Summer's coming. You want to go on big, long rides. Yeah, yeah. That would definitely help you out. Yeah, I've never sure. used it. Scope. Never it's used it. Very clever. I'm looking forward to that one. Brings what everything else? into one place. What else we've got coming up? Oh, we got, we've got Obstacle Challenge. <laughs> Who are you doing that with? Well, it's, it was just myself from the woods. Like, oh, my yeah? friend kind of left me. Oh, no. So it's just me. Just you on your own. And my favourite cameraman, well, there's loads of favourite cameramans. Nick, he oh, helped digging me. a hole now, stop. Yeah. Stop, stop, stop. Yep. Oh, um, and, and just loads, of, yeah. There. You like I everybody. dug a hole. You dug a hole. I'm intrigued now. What happens in this video? We'll have to find out. All right. Well, you've got left us hanging. Mm -hmm. Left us hanging. Um, very cool. Lots of stuff coming up on GMBN this week. And of course, don't forget, whilst you're here, you can subscribe. Because, Blake, it makes total sense, doesn't it? Right. I have you, obviously, if this is your first time watching our weekly show, weekly, every week we do this show, you miss out on some rad stuff. So yeah. don't forget to hit the globe. Definitely. Subscribe. Um, right. OK. Let's time to dive into the bike vault. This is the bike vault. The bike vault. Oh, I love it. Love the bike love vault. Goosebumps, Martin. Seeing other people's bikes. You haven't got boost goosebumps. Oh, you have a little bit. <laughs> I have got goosebumps. Are you really excited about it? Yeah. Um, right, let's get in there. Let's see our oh. first bike this week. Oh, look, it's got a trail dog and everything. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is from Callum. No, that is, is a specialised. That is a specialised stump jumper Evo. Oh, um, the it is dog's in, fur bomb, that shop. It's in New Zealand. Um, and it's got a trail dog that's always getting very close to super nice. And when it's a nice bike like that, it's a dead ringer, isn't it? Is it? Super nice. Super nice. Raw. Look at that. Oh, mm. Nice. Oh, you can. That's Whoa. not a trail dog, dude. That's, that's a, a horse. horse. 
Samuel with a human on it and his trek fuel and a huge beast. Now, do you um, think he's out riding with his girlfriend? Uh, yeah, I think it could be. It's oh, a tra it's a tra yeah. it's a trail pony. It's a trail wow. pony and his um it, the trek's nice. Let's focus on the bike. Oh, yeah, yeah, Let's focus sorry. on the bike. The horse is very distracting. Yeah. Um, I like how it's Front yeah, hoof is cut. Front hoof is m matched colour to its saddle. Yeah. It's very clever. Very nice. And pedals to saddle. I think we've digressed. I think super nice. It's nice. Okay. Moving on. Next up. Oh, no, I'm a Look big fan that. of a hardtail. This is an orange. Callum's uh, Orange G2 in Sherwood Pines. That's a beauty. That is beautiful. Hit the bell, please. I do like that, that's really... Uh, next up. Oh, oh I didn't that. even know they had a top tube. Look how it blends in. The red looks like real slimness. That's a Trek Slash. It doesn't even look like Trek it's got a saddle. Slash, uh, in Honduras. Nice. I can't even see the whole bike. Look, the wheels are nice. Tight. Right, look at the photo, though. Unless he's just focusing on the frame. Oh, okay, next up. Boardman. Boardman. No, it's it's Boardman. It's almost like saying boring, isn't it? Boardman. He's got Whoa. GM in water bottle though. Super nice! <laughs> Sammy! Well done, yeah, Sammy! Really nice. Super and nice. I bet it smells garlicky though, because that's yeah. garlic. I wild love garlic. That. That wild is garlic is smells good, fantastic. Yeah. Um, this oh, is Common Davies Common Sal Meta in, in, in Hulk Green. In his backyard. Yeah, I'd say. Nice. Nice. Let's see it on nice. the. Nice. Good bike. Well, it's really nice. Sure, it's nice. nice. You know, nice. nice. Okay, oh next up. my. Now that looks like Wales, I'm just guessing. This is a Marin Hawk. This Where? is Marin Hawk Hill in Derwent Dam. Yeah, it sounds like wheels to me. Yeah. Derwent? Derwent? Where's Derwent? We don't know where Derwent, Derwent. is. Derwent. Um, but that's a flipping nice bike, eh? Marin? It's nice. It, yeah, I, I like it. You very, were going to go more than that. Our horse is very picturesque. Yeah, it's got, like he's well, out on a ride. You. You've got the bow, it's up to you. I'm going to say super nice, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, well. next up, we've got Blake's. <laughs> Mine! 2000, no, 2018 oh. Orbea. I was going to say, I don't have an Orbea. Um, in Arkansas. Bentonville, Arkansas. Arkansas. Bentonville. That's where we're going. Austrails. Austrails. Super nice. Looks brilliant there. I'd love to ride down that Looks street. nice. It's nice. Super nice. I'm going to go Austrails. Okay. <laughs> next up, Joshua's oh, wow. GT. Wow, that's a flat line. That's a flat line right there. Handlebars to seat, flat line. That is, isn't it? This is in Ontario. And I'd say that's nice. That's nice. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. Next up. Oh, look, that's a beautiful waterfall. George is 2012 Lapier in uh, Wicklow in Ireland. Uh, nice. It's nice. Uh, it's nice. It's nice. I don't want to give I it like, more than that. No, but it's nice. It's blended into the background. Yeah, it is a bit. Mm. Yeah, nice. Mm. Last right, last bike Ooh. this week. Propane is that? Wow, yeah. That you don't get hot. to see many propanes. Michael's propane um, yeah. in Sardinia. Sardines. Sardinia. Oh, Sardinia. Yeah, which is different. Oh, um, <laughs> it's a it's a cool bike. No, I like it's I like cool. I like propanes. <laughs> so, I, I super that's nice. A super nice <laughs> um, and that's we are out of the bike box. Oh. Some sardines there. <laughs> Very nice bikes this week. Mm -hmm. You know what? You can send your bike into our uploader and you can be part of Bike Vault um, and you could get a super nice. You can also play along with you can. Bike Vault on our Instagram story. Yes. So head over and you can decide whether those bikes get nice or super nice yourself. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of fun and you usually get quite surprised by the result. Yeah. Um, a lot of fun. And there's some sardines in there for extra fun. So go and see <laughs> extra them. Extra smell. So thanks for watching this week. That's the end of the Dirt Shed show. We had a lot of fun. So much fun. It's been good to have you back Aye, in the shed, Mark. dude. It's been it's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, if you want to stay with us on GMBN, and why wouldn't you? I've <laughs> um, got some videos to suggest. Um, mm -hmm. You can click just here to see Neil versus Blake. Oh, uh, yeah. This is a brilliant trials video. So, well, it's brilliant, is it? Definitely worth watching. <laughs> Definitely watching. Um, yeah, and in front of Blake's face right there, this is, I really love this one, the Blake's XC versus Crossbar. Oh, yeah. I do like that crossbar. Man, you went for it in that video. I like crossbar. Yeah, well. yeah, yeah. And um, what's this thing for, Blake? Well, that? you hit this globe to subscribe because if you haven't already, you're definitely missing out on some rad content. Yeah, please do. And we will see you next week on the Dirt Shed Show. Give us a thumbs up, like before we go. See ya. What are you doing now? I'm going to the pub. Oh, yes. Pike? <laughs>